Right now, New York City Chancellor David Banks is celebrating progress and mapping out the future for schools here in New York City. He detailed areas of improvement in his State of Our Schools address this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo was there. He's got the latest from Astoria, Queens. Anthony. Well, Sandra, Tanya, Schools Chancellor David Banks was well received. He got a couple of standing ovations. He closed his address by having the auditorium full of educators stand up and collectively recite Invictus, a poem about resilience. I asked the chancellor why he chose to do that, and he said everyone goes through challenges, including himself, without specifically mentioning the federal probe, the ongoing federal probe that resulted in the seizure of the chancellor's cell phones, along with the phones of many other Adams administrators. Administration officials and Chancellor Banks appeared to be in good spirits as he entered the auditorium sporting his typical big smile. He said his hellos and made his way to the stage at the Sinatra School of the Arts. The Chancellor's partner and first deputy mayor Sheena Wright, who he called the love of his life, attending along with Mayor Adams. The latest example of city government seemingly operating as usual amidst an ongoing federal probe or federal probes rather into the Adams administration. In his roughly 50 minute speech, the chancellor listed successes and priorities for the school year, including opening accelerated high schools in underprivileged areas. The first of its kind, HBCU Early College Prep School, is slated to open in Queens next fall. The chancellor asserted the DOE's comprehensive position on mental health, offering free teletherapy for teens. And the chancellor spoke a lot about the use of AI as a tool not to replace place teachers, but support them in having accurate data for student progress. The chancellor said he's preparing children entering what he calls a complex and difficult world. In moments like this, it's critical to stay focused on our mission, which is to ensure that each student graduates on a pathway to a rewarding career and long-term economic security, equipped to be a positive force for change. Chancellor Banks only took on-topic questions after his State of Our Schools address. He was asked about whether the FBI still had his cell phones and declined to answer that question. Again, he's not been accused of any wrongdoing, and his phones are just some of the uh, several confiscated uh, among Adams administration officials with those ongoing federal probes. The chancellor closed his address by saying the State of Our Schools is strong.